Hey, what's up? It's Todd Guy, the Thrashing Zombie. It's Monday. It's time for some stuff. Not some new stuff, but I got some uh, used cassettes I gotta show. Today is Death Metal Day. Except for one album's not really Death Metal, but everything else is. But the two cassettes, I'm gonna start with the two cassettes first. Um, first one is uh, a little backstory on these cassettes. There's I have other cassettes. I bought a stack of cassettes and CDs from its yard sale, all for six bucks. I was gonna do them all together, but I'm gonna mix it up a bit. Um, I think these are both. Yeah, these are both from there. Uh, the first one is this band called Murder God, called God Destroyer. <clears throat> yeah, you can tell what kind of music this is. Anti-religion, basically. Um, couldn't find a lot of information about this cassette. Uh, what I found originally was that it was a demo, or uh, one of them said it was a, a bootleg cassette. Uh, Discogs only has um, uh, downloaded information for like downloaded album. So couldn't, they don't have anything on Discogs for cassette or CD or anything like that. And Meta uh, the, Meta Metallic uh, the Metal Encyclopedia says this cassette's a demo. Um, doesn't really sound like a demo. It's it's a brutal fucking death metal though. I'm gonna pop this in because I really don't think I'm gonna get a freaking um, hit for this because I don't think many people have heard of this album, and I don't think they're together anymore either. So, but uh, this is from 1996. See what we got. So yeah, Murder God. Pretty uh pretty brutal shit right there. And then the other one, other death metal one I got is Pyo Pyogenesis Waves are of Eretasia, I think. This is an EP, four songs, same four songs on both sides, kinda like Slayer's Rain of Blood cassette same songs on both sides, so, um, yeah, this is, uh, what did I say, they put out quite a few albums, actually, they play different styles of metal, not just what this is, this is Death Doom, <coughs> this is from, I didn't get the date for this, 1994, maybe? That's what that says. So, yeah. Pyogenesis. Waves of Eratasia. I don't know. Well, this guy had a, had a shit ton of um, CDs, which I'm going to get to in a video later this week. Um, it's cassettes. Not a lot of cassettes. I've got maybe five, five or six cassettes. Those are two of them. Okay, now we're done with the cassettes. Let's go on to the, the vinyl. Uh, let's see. This one is not death metal. It's considered... It has a bunch of different things. It's uh, progressive metal, black metal, folk metal, viking metal, and avant-garde metal. It's a band from Norway. This is their 11th album. They started in 1996 with their self-titled debut. This is from 2019 called True North. This is Bork Nagar. Nagar. <coughs> this was a free album from Century Mito. I bought two other albums. One I will show you in this, and another one I'll show you in a later video. But this was a surprise mystery uh, vinyl, which they sent. I have no idea what this is. Well, actually, I listened to this. <laughs> it's got like black metal uh, music, kind of, but with more melodic singing. Almost, I want to say power metal singing in a way, or not mellow death. Uh, yeah, more more like power metal singing over black metal uh, music. It's very interesting. I streamed it. I haven't listened to this album yet. Uh, it's 
debate whether they're listening to the album or not. After this video, I'm probably going to stream or uh, listen to this. So, this is from 2019. Two record set. I think it's a gatefold. This is a back. They're from uh, Norway. Their first album was all in their native tongue. Come to the two inserts. Two inserts for both albums. It's not something I would have thought that I would have. Uh, I took these out last time. Just this black. I think there's. Yeah. It's like two songs on each album. It's crazy. Alright. Uh, the other album I got from them was this one that I was gonna. I wanted to get anyway. Uh, Skeletal Remains. This is their latest album, The Entomb Entombment of Chaos. Yeah, and two men of chaos. It's a gatefold lyrics. This is uh, they're from California. This is their fourth album from 2020. First one was in 2012 called Beyond the Flesh. No insert or anything. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. This comes on purple vinyl. Custom center labels. This is some good ass death metal right here. Definitely reminds me of an old school death metal from the 80s. A little bit reminds me of Gate Creeper in a way. Not a lot of singing. Uh, but yeah, Skeletal Remains. If you like death metal, it's a great fucking band. And then what could be. What can you, uh, what would a death metal album, a death metal video be without this band that loves the band Death? Gruesome. This is Savage Land. This is their first full length album from 2015. Matt Harvey, Daniel Gonzalez, Gus Rios, and Robin Mazin. Comes with the uh, insert, lyrics. But yes, gruesome, savage land. This comes on uh, black vinyl. Definitely, if you like death, the band Death. I'll say it again, gruesome. Especially Twisted Prayers, the one the only album after this one. Fucking amazing. And then this one just came out, uh, actually no, not just, came out uh, 2018, that's a couple years ago actually, three, wow, anyway, they are from uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, which is kind of surprising for this death metal band, started in 1997 with their album Slaughter the Week, this is their ninth album, this is Jungle Rot, self-titled, limited edition colored vinyl, includes a free download code. Good frickin' uh, covers. Comes with uh, this. Did I leave? Yep, there it is. Uh, you can read this. Go ahead and take it. If not, whatever. Comes on yellow vinyl. Yeah. That's that's Death Metal Monday. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you watched this video all the way to the end, give me a like. If you liked it, subscribe. Till next time, rock on.